a couple of weeks ago, uh, Edward Snowden was on Joe Rogan's uh, podcast, and uh, I missed one section of it. I guess it was news, but I didn't see it. So we got to talk about the aliens. So obviously, Edward Snowden had a lot of access to a number of different secure obviously, servers yes. in the government. He had access to all that stuff. And so a lot of people believe that the government has been hiding evidence of aliens. Some people believe that. Some people like me, hope that they've been hiding evidence of aliens and that somebody who had all this access would have access to it, but maybe not. He said, I know Joe, I know you want there to be aliens. I know Neil deGrasse Tyson badly wants there to be aliens and there probably are, right? But the idea that we're hiding them, if we are hiding them, I had ridiculous access to the networks of the NSA, the CIA, the military, all these groups, I couldn't find anything. He admitted that it was entirely possible that knowledge of alien contact was hidden really damn well from people with direct access. He says, everybody wants to believe in conspiracy theories because it helps life make sense. It helps us believe that somebody is in control, that somebody is calling the shots, which is a bold thing to say on Joe Rogan's podcast, considering the audience. But um, but he, he admitted like he was open to finding it. He looked to find it, but he didn't find it. Well, I think what's so fascinating about this overall is it puts things about Edward Snowden into even more perspective. Because I think mean? initially the focus of was what the information that he was releasing. That was the focus. But now I'm you kind mean of back years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so now though I'm kind of stepping back and realizing, no way, he was just wiling out. He was looking through everything, mm -hmm. looking for anything <laughs> and everything. And that hadn't really dawned on me. It was, uh -huh. The focus was about like this is what he found, this is what he's releasing, and you want to, you know, like hone in on that. But like mm -hmm. I just picture every day. What he was yeah. doing, and that like he had was never dawned on like me. Are the right? Olsen twins every, secretly one person? Everything, all day, every um, day, he was just snooping through our government's most like private information, mm -hmm. looking for anything. Was Mulder onto something? Like, how long did he spend looking for uh, proof of alien life? Probably weeks. <laughs> but that's so. so I would do that, wouldn't you? Like if you had access no, to that? Not, I'm not going to. That's what I would prison. that's what I'd be searching for. <laughs> nope, I'd um, do my job and I would leave. I'm sorry. It's worth it. What? It's worth it to find no. out if there are Vulcans. But anyway, he said one other thing. He said, for the record, as far as I could tell, aliens have never contacted Earth, or at least they haven't contacted US intelligence. Yes, man really did land on the moon. Climate change is real. <laughs> Chemtrails are not a thing. I need this. Not because I question those things, but because a lot of people still question those things. And hopefully Edward <laughs> Snowden, who has a lot of respect out there, if he says it, hopefully, some, especially on a show as big as Joe Rogan's podcast, uh, hopefully some yeah. people listening will be like, oh, so chemtrails aren't a thing. Okay, good. Edward Snowden clarified things for us. Thank you, Edward.